Recently, I shared a video here on my channel sharing something that isn't quite talked about in most guitar lessons for the song Bad Moon Rising. And that's that John Fogarty has this little trick where he tunes his guitar down a whole step. Now the song is in the key of D, but because he's tuned down, he plays it in the key of E, and it sounds really great like this. Now today I want to go even further and share with you the guitar solo that he plays in this tuning. Now he plays it over the entire form of the song. There's just two parts. There's a verse and a chorus. Here's what it sounds like. So to start off, you want to make sure that you're tuned down, and instead of E, A, D, G, B, E, we're going to be using D, G, C, F, A, D. That's the tuning. Now, if you're familiar with the caged system, you're going to see these shapes in the solo right away. And the first shape here, I'm playing on the top four strings, is just six, four, five, four. And that really looks like a C shape here from Caged, which is just a higher inversion here. If you have an E down here, you've got a higher E up here. Then we're gonna go to a B chord. Again, just the top four strings, four, 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 and then two. Okay, and that looks like an A chord, right? It's the A shape just moved higher up the neck. And then you bring it down two frets and just take off that index finger and you've got an A chord. So it's really like E, B, A, and then E. Okay, that's the first part of the solo. Now here I'm going one and, and I'm playing that first one a bit staccato there. So it's short and disconnected and then the next one's longer, so. And then you go up, down. So it's one and two and a. Now with this song, we've got a 16th note feel, but the 16th notes are swung. So like one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. So one e and a, two e and a. Then on beat three, we go to the B chord, and then on beat four, we go to the A chord. So it's one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Now when you see Fogarty live, he actually plays those as up strums. So kind of gets a cool sound there, even though it's on the downbeat. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, and then. Now this lick here is what we played in the rhythm part, okay? So that's just, you break up the strings. You play like the bass strings, then the treble strings, then you add the second fret down on the second string and then do this little bluesy hammer open to one so on the third string there just hammering into that E chord and then you do this little move which is actually a blues pattern here okay it's just making an E chord and then in, this is an E6 it's almost like doing just, it's just like a blues pattern there. So you do the hammer and then alternate. Just back and forth between open and two there with the pinky. So, okay, that's the first two bars. So if I put those together, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Okay, then we do almost the same thing again, but he goes to a higher inversion. And you'll hear this on the track, it's really cool. Okay, so these are all just caged chord shapes here. You've got the same chord for E, six, four, five, four. You go to B, that's all exactly the same, but instead of going to A here, the second time, he goes higher. So if you take this chord and do what's called an inversion and move it up to the next possible way of playing 
that that same arrangement of notes just inverted, you get this. You get seven, six, five, five. Okay, so A, A. But now we've got this higher note. Instead of open, it's the fifth fret. So it's and then you go back to the first chord, okay? Then he does this little lick. And this is just playing off the chord, okay? So he, he strums the chord, then he plays the first string, then the second string, and then you add your pinky to grab the seventh fret on the first string and then go back to four, so. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a ba -ba -ba -ba. And that's coming out of, you know, you could think of the full major scale. That goes with that chord or pentatonic. See, this is the beauty of the caged system is you have all this information just right under your fingers. So when you're working on a song, it's just like, oh yeah, of course those notes make sense because it's all right there in, in the box, basically. So, or in the chord shape pattern and the scales are all, you know, linked together. So here we go, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Okay, so that's the entire verse section. Now that's going over this progression. Okay, so I'll just play the first four bars. Here we go. Three, four. So then we go on to the chorus. Now I wanna give you something that's really gonna help you out with connecting exactly what I'm talking about, these scales and patterns on the neck. And what it is, is my blues scale PDF guide. And you can get this completely for free by going to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales, or you can click the first link down below. And this is gonna help you start mapping out these patterns and master the blues scale anywhere on the neck. Now from here, we go to the chorus and we play. Total bluesy vibe in there. And I love how he's playing these chords and then he's hitting melodies off the chords. Now this part gets a little bit tricky. You have to use thumb chords. And that's the basic idea of taking like, instead of playing a bar chord like this, you start using your thumb on the lower strings. And so what I do is I put my thumb on the fifth fret of the low E, and then I mute the fifth string, then seven, six, five, five. That's an A chord. And the reason why we do it this way is now I've got my pinky free and I can go and get this little melody here because I have that finger available. Now, if this is too hard to get your thumb like that, what you can do is just play the open fifth string. And that sounds great too, and then just get the top four strings. Or if you're used to thumb chords, you can play it like that. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the bass note, then the treble strings, then I'm adding the pinky as I come back with an up strum on the seventh fret of the second string. Okay, then I go five, five, seven, five, seven, and I'm just alternating between the fifth fret on the second string, which is within this chord, and then I'm adding the seventh fret there. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four and. Then I do the same lick. on the E chord. Again, this is this is just a caged chord shape here, right? It's like the E shape, and then you move it down here. So all of this stuff, you know, can be really thought of in, even though it's complex, it's hard to do, can really be thought of in simple terms when you're using the cage system. So. That's an E chord, bass strings, treble strings, then add the second fret on the second string. Open, open, second fret, open, second fret. One E and a two E and a three E and a four and. 
So. And a lot of that is like hitting the bass strings and then the treble strings. Now this part changes the rhythm a little bit. Love that. And this is like a turnaround, you know? In the blues or something, right? So I take this same shape, the, the Hendrix thumb chord, and now I'm playing up at the seventh position. I've got seven on the low E, mute the fifth string, nine, eight, seven, seven. And I'm gonna hit the bass strings, then the treble strings, and then I'm gonna add that pinky. So one, E, and, uh, okay? One, E, and, uh, that's bass on the down, and then up strum, up strum, and then play it again with the nine there and go nine, seven, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh. Then I copy, paste, do the same thing down here. So I just shifted down two frets. Now I'm on the A chord. And, and these are six chords, by the way. When you do this, this is a B. That's a B6. A, that's an A6. And then here, E, that's an E6. So. Then when we get down here, we just go. It's just a full back and forth with the strum hand. One, E. So it's on the ands that my pinky's going down and then it's coming off. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... And the strum hand there just goes back and forth. All right, so here is the chorus section. I'm just gonna rewind four bars and put that all together. Here we go. A one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Alright, let's put this entire solo section together. Now we're gonna play all eight bars, get set, and I'll count us in. A one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. There it is, that's how to play the instrumental section, this guitar solo to Bad Moon Rising. Again, using that lowered tuning, it gets an awesome sound. And one of the things I love about this is how it's a full solo, it sounds great, you've got these moving melodies, it's not boring, but it's also combining so much of the chords and the caged shapes all in one. So take your time with this, work on those rhythms, and then go and try and play it along with the recording. And this is really gonna help your playing. And to put it all together and start creating your own solos like this up and down the neck, be sure to grab my free blues scale PDF guide. And this is where I show you the five must know blues scale patterns to master the blues scale anywhere on the neck. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales and grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Fogarty, check out this video next.